turkey roll, a stuffed boneless turkey breast roast is surprisingly good value and is not that hard to create. Buy a boned turkey breast lovingly tied up with string by your butcher. The first thing you do is destroy those efforts. Cut it loose. Get rid of all that string. So now we have a peculiarly shaped big lump of meat with an odd tendon here and there. Cut it out. Turn it this way and that way. It still doesn't look like it's going to roll over. So what to do? Just find the thickest bits and slice through them horizontally so they open like a book or like a small book attached to a very large turkey breast. Then find another thick piece to slice across until basically you have a very rough rectangle of meat, very roughly the same thickness throughout. It's not a neat job, but I can promise you it will work. of salt, be bold with it. The skin needs to come off. I know all about crispy turkey skin and I love it, but here we'll be covering the roll with bacon, so what's the point of the skin under a covering of bacon? None at all. Now salt the other side. Now we're turning it over again so the inside is up and we'll get the stuffing onto it. The recipe for the stuffing can be found on Cuisine Fiend, chestnut and mushroom stuffing and it's the best there is. Spread it all over that slab of meat and press it down with the back of a spoon so it forms a compact layer. For a turkey breast this big, which is about two and a half kilo, you'll need stuffing made from half a kilo of pork and 200 grams of chestnuts. And so we roll, starting from the short end, bringing it back to the shape it was before we wrecked it, basically. the sides in if you can. And we're left with a few flapping bits on the side, but not to worry, you can pin them temporarily with meat pins. And the bacon will sort it out. Don't panic if your rushes don't wrap the roll round. As long as they cover most of it, it's fine. I had some smoked and some unsmoked rashers and alternated them, but you can choose just one type. So now it looks like a mummy and we need to tie it up. Cut as many lengths of string as you have bacon rashers, as each will go across one. All right, we're on the wrong side of the turkey roll now. Turn it over. Tuck the strings underneath one side and turn it. This is quite like swaddling a baby with strings.
adjust the string pieces across the bacon rashers and tie them up starting from the middle. Trim the excess string and turn over again. Now if this should be too large for one roast, you can easily split it in half and give away one piece or save it for New Year's Day. Just slice in the middle and wrap some bacon over the cut side to keep the stuffing in. And that's done. It's ready. The roast is ready and it looks magnificent. Oh, the stuffing meanders through the roll just lovely. And the breast isn't overcooked. Perfect. You can find the full recipe at cuisinefin.com. Search for stuffed turkey roll. Merry Christmas.